Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be seven things I can't live without tag. Now I was tagged by my friend here on YouTube, Danielle from Danielle Minnesota Vlogs. And if you guys are not familiar with Danielle, I'll be linking down below her video so you guys can check her out. So make sure to go check her out and show her some love. She's also a mom to a little boy and she also works full time. So I think that she is super mom. So definitely remember to go check out her video. I will be sharing with you guys seven things that I can't live without. Now I'm going to do it the same way that Danielle did it, which was naming seven things that were materialistic. I'm not going to name things that are obvious, like my family and stuff. Obviously I can't live without my family and all that. So I'm just going to be naming seven materialistic things that I feel like that I cannot live without. Now this is not in any particular order. I'm just going to be naming things that I can't live without. So the first thing I cannot live without is my straightening iron. I love my straightening iron. The one that I currently have is the Chi and I love it. It works awesome. I'm able to curl my hair and also straighten my hair with it. If you guys don't already know, my hair is naturally really, really curly and frizzy. So if I let my hair go natural, I will look like a witch. Now I don't have the beautiful Shakira curly hair because if I had hair like that, I would go natural a lot more often. My hair is more like witch crazy. Like if I let it dry naturally, I look like a crazy witch. So I cannot live without my straightening iron. I love it. I use it to straighten it and to curl it. So it makes me not look like a crazy witch. <laughs> and the second thing I cannot live without is my cell phone. I use my cell phone for everything. I go on Netflix for my cell phone. I go on social media. I text. I email. I even shop for my phone. So yeah, my phone is definitely something that's always on me. It's attached to my hip. I know it's not good, but yes, I'm addicted to my cell phone. I even do all of my YouTube videos from my cell phone and take all of my pictures and videos. So my cell phone is definitely something that I cannot live without. Third thing I cannot live without is going to be a makeup item. And technically, there's three things from makeup that I cannot live without, which is mascara, concealer, and some type of lip product. But if I had to choose just one, which is really, really hard for me, I think I would probably choose either chapstick or some type of lip gloss because nobody likes chapped lips. So I would definitely choose either a chapstick or a lip gloss to keep my lips nice and smooth. Fourth thing I cannot live without is going to be food, which is Mexican food. I love Mexican food so much. I could probably eat Mexican food every single day and not get sick of it. I just think it's so delicious, everything. They just make their food so flavorful and so delicious. And not to mention, they make some awesome margaritas as well to go with their food. So I definitely cannot live without Mexican food. And, and when I say Mexican food, I mean like authentic Mexican food. So that's definitely something that I cannot live without. And the fifth item I cannot live without is going to be a face mask. I love my face mask. I have so many in my drawer. I have one in particular that I have been using for years. I feel like it really helps when I have my skin problems. I'm always breaking out and have blemishes and I feel like it really does work and I use it a lot. I use it at least once or twice a week and I don't know what I would do without this face mask. I would probably cry if they discontinued using it and I'll show you guys which one it is. It is this one. It is by Queen Helene and it's called Mint Julep Mask and this mask works so good so i cannot live without this mask like i said i've been using this mask for probably at least eight years and like i said if they discontinue this i will cry this is something that i cannot live without number six is going to be coffee i cannot live without my coffee whether i make it at home or i buy it out in the store i need my coffee i have at least one cup of coffee every single day i need the caffeine okay guys i'm a stay-at-home mom to two little ones ages three and four and they drive me absolutely insane. I love them, but they are a handful and full of energy. So to be able to keep up with them, I need my coffee. Sometimes I even drink it twice a day. I just recently bought a new Keurig, which I'm so happy about because my last one, it just was so old. It was time to get a new one. So definitely coffee. And then the last and final item, number seven that I cannot live without is leggings. I love leggings. Now leggings, you can dress up or dress down. They are so comfortable. And being a mom, I like to be as comfortable as possible, running after my two little ones, doing errands. So I probably live in leggings. I have so many pair of leggings in different colors, different styles. And like I said, I can dress it up if I'm going out or I can dress it down if I just wanna run some errands or if I'm just around the house. 
So definitely leggings. I love my leggings. If you ever run into me, I probably will be wearing some leggings because I live in them. They're just so comfortable. Okay guys, so those were the seven items that I feel like I cannot live without. And honestly, I have a ton of things that I can't live without, but those are probably like the top ones that I can't live without. Now I'm gonna be tagging seven friends of mine to do this tag. The first person I will be tagging is Joanna L. Newman, Carrie Murphy, Lindsay from Domer Life, Life of Jade, Samantha Medlin, Britton Ariane. Okay guys, so that is gonna end today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tag video. Thank you again so much to Danielle who tagged me. Again, remember to go check her out. I'm gonna leave the link to her video down below. And as always, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please remember to give me a big thumbs up. And if you have not already, I would love if you would consider subscribing to my channel and I will see you guys next time. Bye.